hey guys welcome back it's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe if you're new uh enjoy the content that we put out feel free to suggest anything that you want to see on this channel and we'll be more than glad to react to it uh yeah thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far thank you um to 19,000 subscribers thank you to everyone that's always watching our videos just thank you i hope you guys are doing all right and i hope everything is okay and keep enjoying this these videos that we put out there so today i'm going to be reacting to muslim comment Dawood kim's big secret gets exposed um so without wasting time let's get into the video Hey guys, welcome back. Quite a lot of people were talking about this video. Dawood Kim, you know, he's a South Korean Muslim convert. And there's a video that's calling him out, like exposing him for doing something that he shouldn't be doing. It was a big secret. So I'm going to watch this for the first time with you guys and then share my thoughts afterwards. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Social media has caused a revolution. Internet is free. It has given voice to anybody. As media manipulates people, social media gave perfect pictures and added goals of life for so many aspirations we have. Well, I totally agree with the fact that social media is free and beneficial. Yes. It's constantly on our backs. We have our Muslim versions also. We follow Muslim channels, influencers, hijab fashion, reverts, their stories, their experiences, their first Ramadan and more. Now, Dawood Kim had been embroiled in controversy after controversy, despite him trying so hard to put on a facade of a good Muslim convert, mm. from rape allegations to domestic abuse towards his wife and profiting off the religion. Wow. You name it, the list goes on. I don't want to slander and cause any more problems his way. All our affairs are dealt by Allah. May Allah forgive us. I mean, let me tell a little more about it and see what is that we can reflect and benefit from. This time around, the Wood Kim's bad deeds have once again been exposed by a TikTok user through not one, nor two, but four videos on TikTok. Mm. What did he not do? Not only was he spotted in a nightclub in Turkey, he is currently on a vacation there, but his soon-to-be ex-wife and another girl came through to spill some tea on him as well. The allegations also include abusing his wife no and divorce case with details. Well, it's so sad, we can't be his judge and start abusing him straight away. May Allah protect us. I mean, I will leave this case here. This was reported by a Malai news outlet. Now, first and foremost, do not believe the social media. People Photoshop or in fact create a fake beautiful life of theirs for likes, fame, money, pleasure. Do not let the internet rush you. Nobody is posting their failures. YouTube is a money-making platform. Yes. Many of them want to provide some service and profit themselves. Right. Don't believe everything you see. Do not let your faith depend upon people on social media. One more lesson we need to draw from here is never compare your life with people online. You can't trust anybody. Don't get depressed by seeing couple goals, beautiful pictures. All of them has imperfections and flaws. They are as human as you. Even a million dollar worth celebrity has problems. Even materialistic life can't satisfy the soul. The next one. For those of you or those of us on social media, let's renew our intentions. May Allah forgive us. I mean, do not put your entire life for display. People are not going to be happy. They also want what you have. Be discreet. Evil eye is real. I wish you brothers and sisters goodness and prosperity. Guard your life on social media. Coming back to Dawood Kim, let's wait for his response. Also, do not get too much involved in taking it too personally if someone cheats online. Okay, so a whole lot of information came at us right there. Dawood Kim, you know, I've seen some of his videos and, uh, you know, they're pretty creative and he seems like a pretty sincere guy. I can't necessarily judge him on a personal level because I don't know him. I don't know all the details. I had no idea he was accused of some of the things that he did. And, you know, him being at a, at a nightclub in Turkey, to me, that was, like, not even the biggest things. But in terms of, like, abusing the wife and whatnot, I'm like, oh, you know, if he did that, it's like, why would, why would he 
do that? Like what would drive somebody to actually abuse their spouse? You know, it, it's, it's one of the worst things I think anyone can can do. And uh, they didn't get into the whole aspect of um, what type of abuse, but also there was, you know, some sexual assault accusations on, on his part. So I get, again, I don't know all the details, so it's, it's hard to make a judgment call. Just if it is true though, it's like, oh, you know, I, I really hope that he gets the help that he needs. And at the same time, it's like, you do something bad, there's gonna be consequences, there's gonna be punishment. So I, I do hope that he does get that punishment, if it's true. If it's not true, then it's like, whoa, okay, gossip, fake news. You, you really gotta be careful, you know, when you navigate the internet and when you see a news headline, you know? I, I've exposed uh, fake news headlines. Uh, I, I've done it several times on many occasions. Just stories are just fake and it's just the news outlet or whoever is just purposely twisting something completely opposite. Not even like a little clickbait. I mean, completely opposite, like blatant lying, right? So it happens, and I don't necessarily know if this is a case when it comes to Dawood Kim, but him being spotted at a nightclub, okay, maybe, you know, his old, bit of his old lifestyle kind of is there a little bit, and to his defense, you know, whether it's good or bad, I, I guess, you know, his conscience has to judge that, and him within the, the Muslim community has to be the judge of that, but, you know, being someone outside looking in, I see somebody that maybe a, a little bit of his old life kicked in and he wanted to get, you know, maybe have a little bit of that experience again. And the thing is, who doesn't? Which religious person on the planet is 100% following their religion all the time? No one. So when we see this, I don't necessarily think it's fair to sort of out him and say that he's putting on a facade of being a a good Muslim, but in fact he's actually a bad Muslim. I just think that, just like everybody else, he has his various different struggles too, his various different desires that he's learning on curbing. And it's really unfair, but he's just somebody who's very popular, he's famous, so his life is going to be a little bit more out in the public. But for those who their life is more in private, you just you gotta look at yourself. Do you follow your religion a hundred percent all the time? You know, so I don't think it necessarily would be fair to judge Dawood Kim as a bad Muslim. So that's just my two cents on this, guys. Now I want to hear from you. Sign off down below in the comment section. What do you think about Dawood Kim? Do you think that these allegations are real? Uh, he is going through a divorce, so there may be some truth to it. But then again, I don't have all the information. But if you do have any extra info, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. And uh, let me know what you thought about my two cents on this. I'm curious to know. If you enjoyed the discussion in this video, don't forget to leave a like. It really does help. And I'll catch you guys in the next video where I look at another topic relating to religion and spirituality. See all y'all soon. Later. actually wanted to react to the actual video but the channel that posted it has taken it down and so I settled for this. I actually love how the person narrating the original video wasn't judging. I love how uh, this guy from FTD Facts was also neutral in this situation. Um, My opinion on the situation is him being seen in the club I would have to agree with this guy. At the end of the day, just because you converted, changed your religion, doesn't mean uh, you stop all your old habits just there and then. You're going to be tempted every now and then to do this, to do that. But in Dowd's case, he was caught publicly by some people and people are trying to shame him. That's why... It's easy to judge someone's life that's online while you, maybe you had no business in that club yourself. Do you understand? So it's hypocritical, very, very hypocritical. That's when concerning the divorce, him um, abusing the wife. 
I mean, if the wife is saying she was abused, who are we to say she wasn't? But again, who are we to also feel the what she's saying by saying yes, it's a fact, it's a fact. We don't know we were not part of that relationship. And at the end of the day, we're going to get uh, she said, he said. I feel like in such situations, we still stay neutral. Otherwise, being in a relationship that's abusive, always leave. I'm glad. If it's true, I'm glad that she's leaving. If it's not, well, that's for them to figure out. Otherwise, always leave. We shouldn't um, shame victims for actually coming out and saying, this person abused me. It would be, it would be absurd. Uh, so, yeah. And then another thing I picked up from the original video, not this reaction, the original video was that we shouldn't post everything online. Um, which is very, very true. You may post something and your friend is so envious of that and they come out and say something to just tarnish your image. Some things, keep, keep them to yourself. Whatever blessings you're getting sometimes, keep them to yourself. Just be content that you've received this in your life, you've achieved that, You've achieved this other thing as well and keep it to yourself. Not everything has to be known to the public. Not everything has to be known by your friends. Not everyone is really going to be happy that you've achieved something in life or you're going somewhere in life. That's one thing we have to learn. With um, Every small thing we want to put on social media. Oh, I got a car. Put it on social media. Oh, um, I'm going through a breakup. Put it on social media. For what? For what? So that we get random people to advise us, random people to chime in on whatever is going on. Not even just random people, even people that may know us. There's always someone watching out there that's not happy for you. There's always someone out there with bad motive. And just because you live in private doesn't mean what's happening to God can't happen to you. People saying this, people saying that, people shaming you. Shame, this shaming... Um, this shaming thing that has people going wild on the internet needs to stop. Stop shaming people. You don't know what people are going through. Otherwise, the divorce is between the two of them. That should should be handled away from the public. And yeah, also fake news sells. So if it's fake, the more people are going to click on that video, the more people are going to click on that news article, the more people are just going to want to read with feed off uh, knowing that someone is going through something bad and we should change that about our souls as human beings let me know what you guys actually think about this video um if there's something that you guys want me to react to drop the link in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video